Hi everyone, this is Ed the Audio Nut and Radio Amateur W8EDW. I decided to put this project together to allow me to interface some of the microphones that I use in my audio business uh, into my ICOM 7300. I, I know there's cables out there to do the interface, but I thought it would be more fun to build my own. So I put together these parts. Um, first of all, you need a box, obviously. And uh, the next item that I got was uh, the actual plug that goes into the ICOM. It's an 8-pin plug that you can get on Amazon. I think they're around 5 or 6 bucks. A couple of tie strips uh, that are going to go inside the box to allow me to tie the component together. I have a uh, quarter-inch jack. It's going to be used for the push-to-talk foot switch. And uh, then I have an A3F uh, panel mount style Neutrik mic connector XLR. Uh, the other thing that is important in it is uh, the 600 ohm transformers. And uh, you can get these on Amazon. Uh, I got it through this company they're called Bojack. And uh, I looked them up. They uh, Pretty reputable company. They make a lot of different things in electronics. But I got a whole box of these things for like, I think it was like 12 bucks. Pretty amazing. They're small audio interface transformers, uh, 600 ohm on each uh, side of it. And uh, that just helps interface with the radio and helps cut down on a ground loop and buzzing and that kind of thing. The other thing I needed was wire, and uh, I found this wire on the on the internet as well. You need a shielded cable and uh, at least four conductors on the inside uh, with a shield. So uh, that's what we're going to actually hook from the interface box to the radio. So that's it for now, and I'll start uh, start assembling the box here a little bit, and I'll show you what we're going to do. This is the wiring on the components. XLR connector on the left there is where we'll be plugging in our microphone. Uh, pin two on that connector goes to the transformer and pin three on that connector also goes to the transformer. Uh, both of those being connected to the same side of the transformer. Pin one is the case ground. And then on the opposite side of the transformer Number one coming from the connector on the radio is going to be the hot microphone input. And then uh, pin seven is the neutral for that. Of course, both of those connect to the same side of the transformer. Um, five and six on that connect, uh, connector are going to be for the push to talk, and that's going to be going to the quarter inch jack and that's where we'll be plugging in our foot switch. So that's the basic wiring setup. And uh, let's take a look at the, the the pinout on the actual microphone connection for the uh, radio. So let's take a quick look at the pinout on the ICOM 7300's plug. The uh, number one is the uh, microphone input. Two is an eight volt phantom power if you were using a condenser style mic on there. We're not going to be using that right now. Up down is on three. Squelch is on four. Push to talk. The uh, hot side of the push to talk is on five. And six is the uh, ground side of that. So uh, that's the quarter inch where we're going to be plugging in our foot pedal for the push to talk. Uh, seven is the uh, neutral or ground for the uh, microphone input and then eight which is in the center there that is for uh, audio out we're not going to be using that so basically we're using four connections uh for the uh two for audio and two for the push to talk so uh that's about it that's we're all using four out of the eight pins on there so anyway, I'm going to start getting this thing wired up. I got everything mounted on the box. 
You can see the XLR connector there and so forth. And wired everything up, and I'll kind of go over that with you. The uh, Let's start at the end with the quarter inch. That's our push-to-talk foot switch. And uh, the red wire is number five on the uh, radio pinout. And the black wire is number six. That's the ground for the push-to-talk. The uh, white wire and yellow wire is what I used for the uh, audio. The white being from pin one and the uh, yellow being from pin seven. Those two are the microphone inputs on the radio. And uh, I'll pan in a little bit closer so you can see this a little bit better if I can do it without messing up here. So on the transformer, you can see I kind of wedged it between the two uh, solder strips and that gave it some support. It also allowed me to put the wires through these lugs and then wire to them um, without it being too fragile. So you can see the uh, yellow wire and the uh, white wire from the, the main uh, wire coming in from the radio are wired to the same side on that transformer. They're wired over here. So the yellow and the white are hot going to the radio. On the other side of the transformer, I kept the color codes the same. The uh, the white is coming from pin two, which is always the hot on XLR. And then the yellow wire is uh, pin three over here on the XLR, and that's your neutral for the mic. There's also pin one, which is the brown wire I have here, and that comes over and grounds to the actual case. This this lug here uh, on the end actually is grounded to the box. So what I did was I took the shield uh, from the uh, radio wire and the pin number one and grounded those both to this lug right here. And then that one grounds to the box itself. So that's basically the, the setup on the wiring. And uh, so next thing is I'm going to put the box together and see if it works. I've got the box hooked up, and uh, it's hooked up to my ICOM 7300. The mic I'm going to use is this Shure SM58. These mics have been around forever, and they just sound great. Uh, I use them a lot in audio and in recording, you name it. It's been around forever, but it's still a fantastic sounding mic, so I'm hoping uh, that it will sound good on the radio. We'll we'll check it out here. But um, anyway, I got it hooked up to my... Uh, ICOM 7300, and uh, so I'm going to jump off just for a second, see if I can uh, get a contact going, and we'll check it out. Okay, Dave, yeah, no problem. Uh, let's see here. You get your call right. November 5, PSM. This is W8EDW. It's Whiskey 8, Echo Delta Whiskey. I just put together a box so that my... Um, XLR type mics like my SM58 would work on the uh, ICOM 7300 and I wonder if you would come back and give me a signal report, report and then also an auto, audio report. Thanks Dave. So you are actually uh, 5 by 5 so I have you at a, a signal level of 5 and um, you're perfectly readable. Um, very uh, clean audio. Um, when I look at the signal on my waterfall, it looks very natural uh, compared to other stations. Um, not much more I can say to it than that. So, uh, no clips, chirps, no strange background noises, no, uh, no 60 cycle offsets. Uh, it sounds real good. So, uh, back to the view. All right. Thanks so much, Dave. Hey, I appreciate it. I'm going to cut off the recording now. I just, uh, like I say, I'm using it on a YouTube video that I made, and uh, I appreciate you uh, very much. Hang on just for a second. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it interesting and uh, fun to build if you did it. Keep in mind you can use this same basic circuit design for any brand radio. And... Um, you just have to make sure your pinouts 
you know, line up with the transformer and with the foot switch. But anyway, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. That helps me uh, keep going. And uh, we'll catch you the next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.